Hey everybody. So um, back in the summer, I bought my first, uh, what a lot of folks have been calling the Walmart Louis Vuitton dupes. Now, I do own some Louis Vuitton, but at this point of time in my life, I can't really afford the ones I want. And I've seen a lot about DH Gate and other places, but I don't know if I want to buy something with Louis Vuitton branding if it's not Louis Vuitton. That's just my personal opinion. So I was like, all right, let me try these dupes. So <clears throat> this was my first dupe. So it's the Neverfull MM in the Damier Azur. I got it because it was summertime. So I thought, let me buy this one first. Uh, honestly, I have no complaints. This is Daisy Rose. Now, I did buy this off the Daisy Rose website directly. It's daisyrose.com because they did not have this color available on the Walmart website. And I mainly use it as a, a work bag. I don't really use it as a handbag. Uh, <clears throat> basically what this bag does, I load it up, I have my purse, I load this up with books or a sweater or an umbrella, lunch, and then I put it in the passenger seat of my car and then when I get to work, I take it out and then it goes into my office. So uh, it holds a lot, I love it. The quality is great. What I had done was that, uh, for those of you that may have remembered, I had bought a Daisy Rose bag from the Daisy Rose website and I also bought um, the same bag, but from a brand called 24 on the Walmart site. So. And my thoughts were at the time, the coloring <clears throat> of the bag from 24 from walmart.com, I felt was more accurate. I've seen, I've, I've been around a few Louis Vuittons. It was more accurate color wise. However, I didn't like the quality. I felt that the stitching, the stitching came apart. All I had to do was just kind of flick my fingernail over it a few times. I did show that in the video and the stitching was becoming unraveled. And I said, no way. I know these bags are under $50. I know we're not expecting miracles, but still, you know, if it's unraveling right when I get it out of the bag. So I returned the 24 and I kept the Daisy Rose. The Daisy Rose, in my opinion, is not as spot on color accurate as the 24 was. Now, could it have been that that particular 24 bag I had was just a fluke? Because I have seen people that had the 24 bag that were very happy with it. Well, I didn't want to take that risk because I'll tell you what, I have never heard a single complaint about Daisy Rose. So I've had this since July. The only things that have happened is that the pouch, oh, haha, <laughs> the pouch, the zipper fell off. I can still open and close it. Zipper's very smooth, but the zipper pull just plumb fell off. I was like, okay. And the only other thing that has happened to this bag is quite frankly, there is a little, uh, a little scratch, a little pull at the canvas. And honestly, that's because of me. I beat these bags up. I mean, I don't beat them up, but I, I don't baby them. So other than the zipper pull coming off, all the zippers in here are smooth, run great, no loose stitching, very satisfied. So satisfied, in fact, that I bought it in brown. This is Daisy Rose in the brown. I bought this off of Walmart. They finally had it available. This comes and goes all the time. I love it. So now that it's winter time, this is what I carry. Very happy with it, very happy with the stitching. I feel this color is very spot on. I actually got it uh, about a week ago and I had to immediately make an emergency trip home. I live in Alabama. I had to make a trip home to my hometown, home state of New Jersey and everybody was carrying one. I, you know, and I was kind of like eyeballing it and most people had the Louis Vuitton logo, you know, and I mean, I don't care, but I had a carry on suitcase and I had this and I did carry this around um, as my purse. I find it a little awkward. I do prefer crossbody, um, but it's lovely. It's lovely. I might, 
I think I like this more than I like this. Also, I'm a metalhead. I wear a lot of black. Trying to get away from that, but I just can't help myself. So I love this and it's super cute and I will wear it for the summer, but this is a contender with that rich red lining. Love it. Okay. So those are my two Daisy Rose bags. Now, when I ordered the Daisy Rose bag, I also wanted a speedy uh, dupe. Daisy Rose does not make a speedy dupe, which is a shame because in my personal opinion, you can buy a Daisy Rose item and it's always going to be good quality. Okay. So I decided to try two other brands. I did some research. I watched everyone's lovely YouTube videos on here and I said, okay, I'm going to buy a Rich Ports and I'm going to buy a 24. Yes, I'm taking a risk with the 24 again. Now, what's important to me is, of course, the quality, but also, will it go with this? I'm under incandescent lighting. It's a cloudy day. We'll see how it goes, okay? So I need to know it's gonna work with this. So I'm gonna put on my glasses and we're gonna open up the first one. I've had these sitting here for a week. I don't know which one is which. But this is the first bag. We'll find out if it's Rich Ports or 24, but first some coffee. Edie's. Best little diner nobody, but yet everybody seems to know about in Little Silver, New Jersey. Delicious. So <clears throat> I'm gonna open these carefully as one or both are going back. So let's see what this one is. Okay. First off, it comes in a dust bag. I know people say they're not into dust bags, but I'm gonna tell you something, I am. Uh, because the way that I store my bags is on a shelf and they're right next to each other and I don't like transference. So honestly, keep your dust bag. That's, that's I, I feel no matter how lowly the dust bag might be, in the end, it does really protect the bag, especially with coated canvas and plastic and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so this comes a nice little dust bag. Still don't know if it's Rich Ports or 24, no idea. Let's find out. So let me just put this dust bag aside. I have no idea. Well, this is kind of crazy. I might have to check the, uh, I might have to check my invoice to see which one this is according to the tracking number. Okay, so right off the bat, huge color difference. Don't like it, okay? Right off the bat, it's not, it doesn't match my Daisy Rose and I knew I was taking this risk. Oh gosh, golly. Okay, so zipper, nice and easy. These are made to imitate the look of the Speedy B, which is the bandolier, which comes with a strap. So the handle's all covered. Everything's covered. All the metal is covered. That's a good touch for a cheap and expensive bag. Not too wrinkled. This is something that <clears throat> even real Louis Vuittons come like this. And all you gotta do is stuff the bag and the creases will come right out, okay? So looking at this bag, I'm playing with the stitching. Stitching is good. Hardware is nice. Not too, uh, not cheap looking. Might be a little bright. But <clears throat> I will put below, we'll say first bag, second bag. I'll put below in the description which one is which. I am a little surprised that let's hope that the second bag maybe tells us what brand it is because this one all it has is a little tag that just says 008 cf that might be coffee so who does have the red interior if this is coffee gosh which one was the coffee anyway so um it does have a little extra bag in here a little tiny pouch with does come with a lock and a key. The pouch is very small, can't put much in there to be honest with you, but it's pretty roomy, I like it. But 
it totally does not go with my daisy rose at all. Look how warm it is. It's not bad. It's very pretty. But the thing is, is that it does not match. This is a much cooler tone. Okay. This, I believe, is the coffee, which uh, I think this is the Rich Ports. Because I think Rich Ports was the one that indicated coffee or not coffee. Well, we'll find out because now we're going to open the second one. Uh, but to be honest with you, the stitches are good. <clears throat> I'm going to slide this over. The handles do not feel sticky or cheap. It's, it's a nice bag. It's just, you know, I kind of would like it to go with the Daisy Rose. So, okay. But I'm looking at the piping. I'm looking at the stitching is nice and even. Let's see if I can show you that. Stitching is good, folks. Stitching is good. Stitching is good. Little bent here, but that could be fixed out. Okay. All right. Number two that we don't know because I stupidly assumed it would have a brand name somewhere like Daisy Rose does. Daisy Rose has a branded hang tag. Daisy Rose says Daisy Rose inside the bag. Uh, now this one also says 008CF on it. So now I can't tell which one's which, but let's find out. Okay, let's open up this one. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, once again, trying to open things up neatly, which is the adult thing I finally learned instead of ripping bags open. Now this one also comes in a dust bag. Huh. This is going to be interesting. I wonder, and uh, we're going to see, also comes in a yellow dust bag. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, folks, I'll let you in on a little secret. Well, let's see, does this say anything? Nope, this does not say anything. Let me open up this bag. This one also comes with a red interior. Well, folks, this is packaged exactly the same. And it is too warm of a tone to go with my Daisy Rose. I mean, can you imagine me carrying this and that? No, I can't. So, okay, so here is a wake up call that I have now learned and I can pass along to you. 24 and Rich Ports, at least with this order, are the same exact bag, same exact hang tag, same exact uh, blue and then clear wrapping. Same exact stitching. Same exact everything. So, with that being said, Rich Ports and 24 sell the exact same stuff. So, I guess it doesn't really matter <laughs> which one. What I'm just disappointed in is that I really wanted this to go with my Daisy Rose. I really wanted a, a Speedy, you know? I really did. Um, because, let me see something else here. Let me see. There's a little, oh, this is this is good. This is, I mean, these are wonderful. These are, these are nice. They're well-stitched. They both have the strap. Same exact pocket. These folks... Folks, just so you know, I ordered one from Rich Ports and one from 24. There is a price difference. I will put that down below. They are exactly the same. So your surprise is just as big as mine because I, as you saw, I opened these up for the first time in front of you folks. So these are exactly the same. Now, one thing I am gonna do, I mean, here's, I mean, gosh, you know, is it the end of the world? No, but I just, ah, I don't like the color difference. 
I know they're different brands. So maybe that's what folks got to do. Maybe if you want a matching set, you have to get them all. But I've also seen that where people, uh, you know, they order a Speedy, let's say from 24, and something else from 24, and they're still not the same. It's a crapshoot, folks. It's a gamble. So these are awesome, but I'm gonna return both, and not because they're bad quality, and not because I'm disappointed in the quality, but because they don't match my Daisy Rose. Now, I am gonna do a little more um, research you know, I bought the Daisy Rose without question. Who knows? Maybe this is the more accurate Louis v color to the actual Louis Vuitton Speedy. Maybe this is the less accurate, accurate color for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. I don't know. Uh, when I was walking around with this in the airport and in New Jersey, where New Jersey is a pretty affluent state, this seemed to be looking just like everybody else's. Now... And then when I look at this, now see in the camera, there's a huge difference. But when I look at these, it's a more slight difference. Um, but this one is a little warmer. And the dark brown squares on this are a little darker. So there's a little higher contrast. And this is a little bit cooler tone. Okay. So my bottom line is. Rich Ports or 24, they're exactly the same. Different brand name, exactly the same. And I order these both from walmart.com. Well, all three I order from walmart.com. Luckily, the Daisy Rose came in sooner, so I could use it on my impromptu trip to New Jersey. Exactly the same. Same tag. Same sticker on the tag. Like I said, they both say what they say. See? They are the same, folks. 24 and Rich Ports are the same. So, who knew? Well, I hope this helps everybody. Uh, what I can say is that I am not disappointed in the quality. I might change my mind and keep one. I'm definitely not disappointed in the quality. But I really like my purses, you know, it's like, look, I know I'm not spending a ton of money on it. I get it. This is just a dupe. Oh, why are you so picky about a dupe? I'm not being picky about a dupe. These are wonderful. It's just, I knew Daisy Rose would be good quality. And I much rather have this and neither one of these because they don't match than go buy one of these from 24 or whatever and have it not be as good quality. But these are definitely better quality than the 24 Neverfull that I received in this color. Because the 24 brand that I received compared to the Daisy Rose, wow, very different, very different. Uh, so here's what I have to say about all this. I am gonna say that if you receive an item and you're not happy with the quality, ask to exchange it because then maybe you'll have better quality. Because one of these is from 24, one of these is from Rich Ports, but let's be real here, folks. These are both exactly the same bag. They come from the same place. Wherever Rich Ports and 24 are getting their bags, it's the same place. So maybe that was just a, you know, I just, the luck of the draw. Maybe when I got the 24 version of this bag, it just wasn't one of their best ones. And that kind of happens when you get these, you know, inexpensive bags, you know? So my takeaway is order what you want. Maybe order more than one, you know? See, I learned a lot today, learned a lot. And just say, hey, you know what? If you didn't like the quality, return it for another one. And maybe that one will be better quality. They are going to be inconsistent. These are inexpensive bags, okay? They're not going to be what, you know, some of us might expect, you know, even from Macy's or, gosh, I don't know. You know, these are inexpensive dupes, you know, from a foreign country. So, um, 
take that for what it's worth. Um, I personally would feel more comfortable carrying one of these than getting one from DH Gate that was a perfect dupe because I just, I don't know. It's just, that's just me. It's like, I don't, anybody that complimented me on this bag on my trip, I said, thank you. It's a Daisy Rose. And they're like, oh yeah, there's no Louis Vuitton. I said, nope, no Louis Vuitton branding at all. And I felt okay with that, you know, like, I mean, yeah, is it the spitting image of a Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damier beat? Yes, it is, but there's no branding on it, and I will be the first to say, not Louis Vuitton. I got it from Daisy Rose for under $50, you know? So, Rich Ports, 24, who knows? But they're both exactly the same, okay? So, folks, I hope that you enjoyed that, and that was my update on this Daisy Rose. Like I said, the zipper pull popped off, but other than that, I haven't had a single problem. Zippers run smoothly. Daisy Rose, if you see this, please make one of these bags so that I can match it to my other bags. I love it. Okay, well, that's it, folks. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But uh, I hope you enjoyed my honest review I paid all these myself and I guess I'm going to make some returns because like I said, the quality is great. I'm actually very pleased with the quality, but I'm looking at them and I'm just like, but like I said, I am going to do some research. I am going to see which one is more color accurate to the Louis Vuitton, but I've already used and, and, and taken this from one state to another. So I'm not returning this, but maybe I can find something else. Anyway, that's it, folks. I was, I'm was i kind of disappointed. I really, I, I really want to keep one of these. I might still keep one of these, you know, because it's got the strap. I wanted it because of the roominess of it and the crossbody strap. So if I do decide to keep one, if I do, I'll figure out which one it is. And then I will give you like a six month or so update on the wear and tear. But for right now, folks, I'm strongly thinking they're going to go back. And uh, I'm going to find something else elsewhere. But everyone, have a lovely Thursday. And uh, like I said, if you have any more questions, just uh, pop it down in the comments below. Have a great day, everybody.